Obama sneaks away to New York, drops $10 million on one thing that will piss you off. Former First Lady Michelle Obama was caught sneaking away to New York, and it was to make a very big purchase. So big, in fact, she called Barack to come meet her. But what is really freaking conservatives out is what this all means. You'll never believe what the Obamas are up to now, and it has everything to do with President Donald Trump. This will piss you off. Well, we are all wondering what Obama would do next in their war against Donald Trump. We need not look any further than what they just purchased in New York. Six Page is reporting the Obamas are eyeing a $10 million apartment at 10 Gracie Square on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Why not? With your money, mind you. If this is leaving you a little perplexed? You're not alone. The Obamas just bought an $8 million mansion in the exclusive Washington, D.C. neighborhood of Calorama. So why would they need a residence in New York? For the same reasons that Bobby Kennedy and Hillary Clinton bought real estate in New York to run for office. As the New York Times explained in their September 1999 article titled, With Some Help, Clinton Purchased a White House. Hillary and Bill Clinton bought their Chappaqua home in New York to establish their, her residency so she could run for Senate. New York is a prime state for il the elites with its big money and its a huge blue state. The Obamas have been looking at 10 Gracie Square on the Upper East Side, situated between East End Avenue and East River Drive, and near the mayor's residence, Gracie Mansion, according to sources who have seen the couple arriving at the building for viewings, reported page 6. This place is so upper crust that heiress Gloria Vanderbilt, who happens to be Anderson Cooper's mom lives there, and so does Eric Rubin. This isn't a vacation home. This is an expensive place, which makes no sense since they could come and go from New York and stay wherever they wanted. So why drop till $10 million? There is only one thing that makes sense. Michelle is going to run for political office with her op. I on eventually being president of the United States. It's a page right out of Hillary Clinton's handbook. We can only hope Michelle's political aspirations play out similar with big election losses. B. Scott, Barack and Michelle Obama may be moving to New York City eyeing an historic apartment in the Upper East Side. The New York Post just reported on the Obama's visit to 10 Gracie Square did not specify which unit they had toured, but a duplex apartment at the building recently sold for $10 million. Real estate sources who spoke to the reporters speculated that this was the apartment the Obamas bought, but the Post was unable to confirm reports. The Real Deal, the go-to for New York real estate news. Again, we've seen this before. Here's how Washington Examiner explained Hillary's New York residence. New York is not Clinton's home state. It's just where she maintains an address. She wasn't born there. She didn't grow up there, and she never lived there until after she and her husband Bill left the White House. Even then, she only moved there because Bill had the connections to help her mount a Senate campaign, which he won, that could lead to a presidential campaign. This is exactly what the Obamas are doing. They, too, have the same connections as the Clintons in New York. The report goes on, it seems Clinton would have moved anywhere if she could have mounted a successful Senate bid there. New York provided her a simple path forward with help from her and her husband's friends. Michelle has been making the rounds lately, appearing at different tech conferences and attending a variety of events, 
that she usually had no, no time for. She came out recently and really let female Trump supporters have it. Any woman who voted against Hillary Clinton voted against their own voice. The former first lady declared speaking at a conference in Boston, believe it or not, the pomposity only got worse from there. What does it mean for us women that we look at those two candidates as women and many of us said that guy He's better for me. His voice is more true to me, Michelle said. Well, to me, that just says you don't like your voice. You like the thing you're told to like, she continued, offending over half of the United States in one afternoon. But now we know why she did it. She's signaling her base, letting them know she's ready to run for office. Well, we wish Michelle good luck because she's going to need it. We didn't vote for Hillary, and we are not voting for her either. Barack should have saved his $10 million. What a waste. But then again, the Obamas do know how to waste money. It is one thing they are good at, really good at. Yeah, yeah, but they're not wasting their money. They're wasting, they wasted the taxpayers' money. What do you think? They're really wasting their money? They ripped off the country. Don't you know that? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.